Welcome to my video. This is Lovey Dovey Part 6. Enjoy the video. Minus minus. Minus minus. Kenma's Pove. It was around 10-ish when I started playing my game, I was so into Final Fantasy 7 Remake. It was quite unhealthy and I'll admit to that. I'm not even finished yet. I've been stuck here doing Chadley's dirty work. I'd say so far I like the motorcycle part chasing Rosh. I've been sitting in the same spot for a while though and my butt was becoming numb. I saved my game and got up and put away my switch. I'll check Animal Crossing later, Kuru walks in. Hey, sweetheart. He smiles as he walks deeper in the room wrapping his muscular arms around my frail body. He lifts me up and flutters kisses all over my cheek oh god, I love him so much I laugh softly as he continuously kisses my face. He finally stops so I decide to kiss his lips his sweet plump and angelic lips, I never really thought I'd ever think something like this considering my persona. He sets me down and takes my hand, then his phone rings he picks up the phone to answer it. Oh. Hey ma. Hey. Can you visit your aunt please? Oh yeah that's fine. No worries have fun. Say hi for me. He hung up the phone as he sat on the couch. I'm assuming you mother went to visit your aunt. Yes, she's been sick for a while and my poor cousin, I feel so bad. I'm sorry to hear that. No it's alright but thanks baby. He then slowly rises, and I feel the warmth leave, I look over at him. I'll be right back, I got something for us. I nod as he walks off, he comes back with a pfft a gasp. You should have told me to bring my games. Haha <laughs> no we're going shopping for them smiling face with smiling eyes. He grins as he grabs his keys. Minus minus. Minus minus. Koru's Pove. I only bought him two games and me picked Kingdom Hearts and God of War while me on the other hand picked COD Modern Warfare we arrived at home and set everything up. I even bought another controller, I'm not spending money for a while. Kenma looked so peace playing violent games. Honestly I'm sure it would freak normal people out but Kenma's always been violent, so it wasn't new to see him enjoy blasting heads off and blowing shit up with beer bottles. I wonder how that works so I asked him. It's a Molotov dumbass. He grunted at my question. Sorry my bad smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. I laughed he played for hours while I napped on the couch, I eventually woke up to Kenma powering the console off, he then grabbed a blanket and came and laid on me. It was dark out so I assumed I slept for a damn while, I looked at him and kissed his lips, they were small and soft and tasted like cherries. He was always wearing cherry chapstick he never wore another flavor, but I don't care because I love cherries, we eventually made out for like 10 minutes. I squeezed his ass cheek softly, a slight moan slipping his pink lips, we cuddled and kissed and enjoyed each other's company. I honestly don't know what I'd be doing or where I would be without Kenma, he really is my world, I love him so much. We made out for a solid 20 minutes total, we didn't do anything freaky because we were both tired of shit, it was like we read each other's minds. No freaky stuff we're on the couch tired as fuck was pretty much the feel it got hot though constantly kissing and panting, so now I'm sitting here shirtless with a passed out Kenma on top of me, I kissed his forehead and fell asleep. End of part 6 I saw her from a distance I knew they couldn't remind Her hair is shining bright She's the prettiest girl I've ever seen around I saw her from a distance She made me want to smile Her face is cute and it's beautiful She's the only girl that sends out in the crowd 